Welcome to Emergency Second Virtual Event. My name is Adriana Smith. I'm the founder of Emergency, which seeks to support greater DC metro area emerging artists with grants and the opportunity to share their work with new audiences. Tonight, for the first time, we are premiering the full performances of our five second round grant winners. In addition, we will also have three special guest appearances by local musicians who have been instrumental in helping make emergency seats work possible. They are part of our mission of creatives helping creatives. One thing COVID has shown us is just how important our local resources are. So emergency wants to acknowledge and nurture our local creative resources. All of the artists you are about to see reside in DC or one of the six surrounding counties in Maryland and Virginia. All of the artists also wrote and created their pieces and you will see a diverse range of high quality songs and spoken word performances. In addition to their $500 grant, each winner was paired with a highly skilled mentor in their field and was given the opportunity to re-record their performance in a professional music studio. Here's an example of one of the winner's original video submissions, followed by his re-recorded video. Tonight's premiere shows the benefits Emergency offers its winners. Our mission is creatives helping creatives. The money that we raise from this event will fund our future rounds of grants, like the one that is currently open, and a percentage will go back directly to the artists you see performing here in this video. Make sure to check out the donate page on our website at www.emergent-seed.org. Our goal is to support these artists and more in our local creative community, and soon, once it is safe to do so, hold live, in-person, outdoor events. So now, let the performances begin. Hi, my name is Joe Downer. This song is called The Wayman. Joe Downer is a guitarist and singer-songwriter who, in The Wayman, tells the story of a railroad worker struggling with the recent death of his lover. Joe is active in the local music scene and runs the Facebook group DMV Quarantine Concert Series to help support and promote musicians' live streams during the pandemic. the streets the town is sleeping still he's fighting for his lover to know that she is well tears stream down his face an old pistol in his hand walking to that hillside See the sun rise again And on the way back down You can know that he'll be found Know that he'll be found, I know And when the daylight shines You won't be working railroad ties You'll be dancing in the skies, I know While under the sun he worked and wouldn't show Sorrow tearing him down If only they could know And he couldn't believe the priest Or tales of love that he would tell For they loosed heaven down on him Oh, but it felt more like hell 
And on the way back down, you can know that he'll be found. Know that he'll be found, I know. And when the daylight shines, you won't be working railroad ties. You'll be dancing in the skies, I know. sun rising on that hill alongside him his lover would sustain him still sunlight on her face she said darling don't look down but hold on to this beauty so he held to what he found And on the way back down You can know that he'll be found You know that he'll be found I know And when the daylight shines You won't be working railroad ties You'll be dancing in the skies I know And on the way back down You can know that he'll be found He'll be found, I know And when the daylight shines you Won't be looking railroad ties You'll be dancing in the skies, I know Good day, my name is Brandon Felder, and my instrumental piece for submission is entitled C-H-T-G-P-L-H-S-C-A. Brandon Felder is an award-winning musician, innovator, and educator who has proudly taught in Prince George's County public and private schools for 15 years. He is composing work inspired by his musical education. The title for this song makes up the acronyms of the schools he has attended and taught at.
Shames, also known as Erica B. And this is called My City. Erin Harris James is a poet who in her spoken word piece, My City, offers insight on the perspective of a DC native. She has performed at and won poetry slams in the area and self-published several books of poems and prose, including one analyzing the impact of gentrification on the black arts scene. I come from a city where we get angry in a place of fear, waiting until the wee hours of the morning to cry ourselves to sleep. A wet sponge sopped and smelling of mildew, overused but never thrown away because of value. It is easier to say <laughs> instead of showing an ounce of vulnerability. Keeping the possibilities of being snatched and attacked to a minimum home never really felt like home. More like a house that I had keys to, wallpaper plastered on by trauma, dusted with gaslighting. If I don't remember, then it didn't happen. Darkness and depression clouds covered me until I entered my space and burned that sage heartbeat increasing as I beat my feet on the concrete, keeping track of every car that stops, follows me. Without invitation, hey baby girl, I can never have my music up too loud to drown out the background noise. Stay alert, stay aware, always stay ten toes down, uh, three stars, two bars, head up, don't smile. Smiling means access to talk to me, but even when I don't smile, entitlement tells Ben to say, smile, baby girl. What entitles you to see a hint of the magic dust created by a glimpse of my smile? I've always felt alone. Even when surrounded by beautiful souls and ugly spirits, leeches will hide their true selves underwater and pond scum attaching themselves, sucking the life and energy from you completely, disregarding your journey and state of mind. I wore a mask of anger to keep the bullshit at bay. But in my soul, I am tired of being angry. My mother could listen to me cry my heart out in the next room and not once come in to say, are you okay? Broken promises turn into unbelievable lies when scratching the surface of dusty vinyls. I saw myself in the mirror one day. One of my students wasn't being herself, so my heart drew me near her. She said that her daddy didn't come get her for her birthday. I sighed. Remembering the VHS tapes playing in the background, blocking out my thought process that my mother was never coming. I tried to explain things as an adult, but the little girl inside of me cried with her. It's going to be okay. My mommy didn't come either. Next weekend, turning into next weekend, turning into next weekend, turning into me not looking forward to the lie of next weekend. Wet wash rags begin to have a stench when left out an overused day and night, day and night, day and night. I refuse to be a mildewed sponge. Peace. My name is Brian Falkowski, and this is my original composition entitled Open Sesame. Brian Falkowski is an accomplished multi-instrumentalist who is beginning his solo career by producing his own music and videos. 
he pairs his original compositions with original visual art to capture the colors and shapes he experiences when he hears certain sounds, given his unusual gift of chromesthesia. Michael Pappas is a guitarist and singer-songwriter who re-recorded his emergency submission with his full band. Off the Coast of Loving You is about the small, painful battles that take place when a couple knows a relationship isn't working.
a handprint on my bed frame Now a silence through these nights I keep a ledger by the rum case For all the wishes I have placed are changing Oh, I'm not sure I want them to There's a high tide and a damn shame Off the coast of loving you Off the coast of loving you Off the coast Got an inkling towards the old ways That's starting to show through You've a stubborn sort of shape, love Yeah, I don't mind that kind of blue are changing Oh, I'm not sure I want them to There's a high tide and a damn shame Off the coast of loving you Now it ain't raining here, baby Now it ain't raining here, baby asked our winners and special guests to talk about what it means to be a practicing artist in the greater D.C. metro area. It's a really cool uh, privilege. It's a cool opportunity. Um, I've, I've been able to meet and meet so many awesome people and build so many great relationships, uh, like with the folks here at Emergency or uh, at some of the various studios, some of the, many of the producers around here. Um, and I think we have one of the best music communities in the world. So uh, it's really awesome to be a part of it. Well, as a composer and arranger in the greater Washington, D.C. metropolitan area, I've been fortunate, I've been blessed, I feel grateful because this area has so much of a rich legacy, a rich fusion of arts and culture, any style, classical, jazz, hip-hop, R&B, 
of course, Gogo and Neo Soul. So I consider myself kind of always a student uh, of uh, musical forms. So I'm grateful to kind of use some of that in my music. Being a performer and composer in DC has given me many opportunities to contribute my talents to different musical projects I've been involved in. Um, I'll often compose and arrange music for the groups I've played with, as well as for other musicians and bands who need these services. Uh, for example, in the last month alone, I've composed and recorded extensive horn parts for a studio engineer I know who produces music for various singers in Africa. Uh, from places like Congo, Cameroon, and Nigeria. Uh, and then, of course, there's also my own music. Over the years, I've probably composed at least 300 pieces of music of varying complexity, some of which I'm busy currently rearranging and recording myself as a large ensemble with myself as the only performer. So the, the different things I do are pretty diverse. Um, in terms of the styles and the needs of the music. In one word, being a singer-songwriter in the D.C. area is humbling. Um, you go out and there's just a lot of really, really talented people out there. When I say out, I mean like playing open mics and stuff like that, or just going to different shows. There's a lot of great talent in the local area. Hannah Unterreiner is a singer-songwriter born in Washington, D.C. and raised in Tacoma Park, Maryland. She started the folk country band Hannah J. and the Hideaways, which has been a two-time finalist for the Whammy Awards. This song, Only You, is about growing apart from a childhood friend. You were my best friend, thick and thin to the bitter end, sharing stories into the night. Never doubted it was right All your secrets I held close Time went fast but we made the most Forever friends in high school Proved an exception to the rule you Shut me up, shut me down You don't want me around It's been tried and it's true there's no us, there's only you Years went by, our lives realigned Found jobs to pass the time Your judgment was plain You viewed my choice with disdain Thought I was skipping to the fast lane You never let me explain And I weathered What did you really have to gain? Shut me up, shut me down. You don't want me around. It's been tried and it's true. There's no us, there's only you. Only you can make me feel so unwanted. Only you can twist my words from There's no us, there's 
there's only you. There's no us, there's only you. There's no us, there's only you. It's called In Memory. I started it 13 years ago after the death of my grandfather, Thomas Shelton, and completed it this year. Michael Robert Taylor is a composer, violinist, pianist, organist, singer, choral conductor, and teacher in the D.C. metro area. He is drawn to beauty in music and wants to share that beauty with others. Kentucky Avenue is a modern Americana 
country folk band from Washington, D.C., formed by lead guitarist Dave Reese and lead vocalist Stella Schindler. Kentucky Avenue just released their album, Ballad from the Past, available now on all streaming platforms. I'm on borrowed time. I thought the road would be less harrowed, a path not so narrow.
So one thing I love about being a singer-songwriter in the D.C. metro area is having such a great community of fellow artists to hang out with and collaborate with and put shows together with and really cheer each other on. That's something I really love about it. And I am excited to get back out there once venues open again and, and kind of relive that amazing community in physical form, not just on the internet. So being a composer in the D.C. metro area is still very much a journey of discovery. I'm still getting to know the area, I feel, one person and one gig at a time. Um, I do enjoy that there is a slightly more laid back feel in the sense that there isn't a negative sort of competitiveness in the area. I do think there are a lot of musicians around who just don't know a lot of other musicians around the place. Just people don't know each other. They're not connected. Um, and certainly grateful to Emergency for helping do some of that connective work. Sure. I want to say thank you to Emergency for all of the support and all of the work that they're doing in the Washington, D.C. area for artists, of all genres, of all collaborations. Uh, continue to keep up the amazing work that you're doing because it's so needed in times like this. I, I just wanna say thank you to you and Emergency and uh, Dave and just everybody. Um, you And Jeff in the booth. Um, everybody's been super awesome with this whole process and I think it's really cool what you guys are doing because again, there's a lot of talented people around and in the DC area and uh, it just seems like there's not really a foundation yet for collaboration to occur and for um, a rising tide to lift all those ships. And you guys are uh, finding a way to do that and starting that off. And just the time and effort you guys put into it is appreciated and super cool. So thank you. Thank you for joining us in celebrating our second round winners and special guests as we premiere their full performances. And thank you for supporting our mission of creatives helping creatives. If you're an artist watching this and you want to be part of our creative community, you can apply today for our fourth round of grants on our website at www.emergent-seed.org. Subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on social media, and sign up for our email list to find out more about how to support our work. Thank you.